there are some that think restoration is is like restoring an old automobile back to what it looked like and, and felt like. Restored means that you're going to try and bring back something that you've lost. That's a lot harder than saving it, saving what you currently have. We're blessed though with millions of acres that resemble the historic Everglades and that's what we have to work with in terms of restoration. No time was lost. The first job that was tackled was construction of levees between the Everglades and the coast. The Everglades lives in our memory. It's just this timeless place. But 50 years from now, that's, that's going to be completely different. It will no longer be a timeless place. It will be a, a dynamic, changing landscape. The Burmese python is native to Southeast Asia. Since the late 70s, hundreds of thousands of Burmese pythons were imported into South Florida and the United States for the pet trade. Whether they were released, whether they escaped, whether um, natural events helped put more pythons into the system, we're trying to develop better control removal tools. Yep. Okay. So we have 25 male pythons out right now. We utilize those male pythons as a control tool to help us find, locate, remove female Burmese pythons. This is the fun part. As the beeps get louder, the giant snake is getting closer. We live for this moment. Perfect. Which one's moving? The the one, male this one was, is that the one moving to the right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We He's might have a big animal. female here, guys. Hold on, here he is. Okay, confirm that's Johnny. I think we got a big girl here. Here comes the musk. I got her. You got her head? Yeah. yeah. I'll grab the tail once you grab the head. Okay, here comes the pretzel move. Get the tail. Keep yeah. it out. Yeah. Is it a female? Uh, yeah. Awesome. Hold on. I need this head. She's, she's shedding, and she's almost impossible to stay. Hold on. All right, here we go. Ready? Yeah. Easy, buddy. I can't really stretch her in this, so if you want to go that way. No, no, let's just tire her out. Because if she can, if you See can how the skin's off. sloughing off? It's almost impossible to hold on. The trick is to let them tire out. She's already before you do. All right, I'm gonna. I guess they should look first, huh? To date, we've removed over 500 pythons from 50 square miles. Okay, girl. I'm gonna have to pull her head the other way. It feels like CSI crime scene here in this lab sometimes, where as we look at the prey remains that come out of our pythons, we're you know pulling out bobcat claws, we're pulling out feathers from wading birds, deer hoof cores. For almost 15. As biologists, we don't like having to catch them, remove them, and humanely euthanize them, but there really is no alternative. Yeah, see, she's, she's probably... You don't know how things will evolve, but you know that evolution will take a, a drastic negative turn if you don't make a concerted effort to deliver the water that it needs. These canals are, are being modified to deal with water supply, flood control, and environmental restoration. How close are we to knowing what it means to get the water right? We're 95% there. Do we have all the water we need to get it right? No, not yet.
We're trying to understand the fate of these marsh soils. These marsh soils are what essentially serve as the building block of uh, these Everglades wetlands. That building block, those soils are almost entirely composed of the organic matter, the material that comes from the leaves of these plants and the roots of these plants. When environmental changes result that affect the growth of those plants, it can also affect the ability for those soils to persist in the, in the condition um, that we would expect of a, of a healthy marsh. The objective of these bridges is to increase our capacity to flow fresh water back into this area of Everglades National Park. The impacts to the environment also translate to economic impacts in South Florida, impacts on real estate values, impingements on water supply, the effects that this has on fishing, hunting, those industries around the ecosystem that depend on a healthy Everglades. We started in South Florida by declaring war on the ecosystem. And it's not restoration that we're paying for, it's restitution. 